This video is on finding inverse Z transforms using convolution theorem. So this topic is from Z transforms. So what is this convolution theorem? If Z inverse of capital F of Z is equal to F of N and Z inverse of capital G of Z is equal to G of N, then the convolution between the two functions that is Z inverse of F of Z dot G of Z is equal to F of N into G of N. So, which can be written as sigma m is equal to 0 to n f of m into g of n minus m. So, using this convolution theorem, so we are going to evaluate the most important problem that is z inverse of z square by z minus a into z minus b using convolution theorem. So, we need two functions that is f of z and g of z. Now, I am going to split this into two functions that is z inverse of this is z square by z minus a into this is z minus b can be written as z inverse of z by z minus a into this is z by z minus b. Clearly you can see these are nothing but z inverse of z inverse of capital F of z into this is g of z. Now I am going to find out inverse z transforms of f of z and g of z. Inverse z transform of f of z is nothing but f of n and therefore see here what is f of z? z by z minus a that is inverse z transform of z by z minus a is nothing but this is a power n and clearly we got f of n value as what is our f of n value? f of n value is nothing but a power n clear and the next one we have to find out the inverse z transform of g of z that is inverse z transform of g of z is equal to g of n see here now what is g of z it is nothing but see here g of z is nothing but z by z minus b and therefore this is z by g of z is nothing but z by z minus b which is equal to this is b power n. Clearly we have g of n g of n value as b power n. So we have to use this convolution theorem. So in order to use this convolution theorem what is the question here? The question is nothing but according to the convolution theorem z inverse of capital F of z into capital G of z is nothing but f of n star this is g of n now i am going to substitute each and every value here that is z inverse of what is f of z here f of z is nothing but this is z by z minus a into this is z by this is z minus b is equal to what is f of n so clearly f of n value i am showing a power n and g of n is nothing but b power n after substituting a power n and b power n this is a power n star this is b power n so according to our convolution theorem this can be written as sigma m is equal to 0 to n f of m in place of n i am writing m into this is b power n minus m this is n minus m clear now i'll solve this one this is sigma m is equal to 0 to n this is a power m into this is b power n by b power m clear now see here summation is from m value ranges from 0 to n and n remains constant so i'm bringing it outside so this can be written as b power m n that is a sigma m is equal to 0 to n. This is a power m by this is b power m. And clearly this can be written as sigma m is equal to 0 to n. This is a by b power m. So if I keep on giving the values for m as 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on till n. So this value is equal to. If I give m is equal to 0. This is a by b power 0. If I give m is equal to 1 this is a by b power 1 this is a by b power square plus and so on the final value is a by b power n 
and see now this is in the gp geometrical progression so in geometrical progression so what is the first term here the first term is this anything to the power of 0 is 1 and here the common difference see here the common difference i am writing r is equal to this is a by b and the next thing here is the number of terms how many number of terms are there from 1 till n there are n terms and extra this one so they are total n plus 1 terms therefore according to our geometrical progression so the formula is a into this is r power n minus 1 by this is r minus 1 so a is the first term r is the common difference n r n is the number of terms so here if i substitute so here it is b power n a a is nothing but the first term here r is nothing but the common difference a by b n is nothing but the number of terms minus 1 by see here this is r again so what is r here a by b minus 1 clear and this is how we have to solve so this can be written as a power n plus 1 by this value is b power n plus 1 minus 1 by here it is a by b minus 1 and clearly if i solve this this value will be see here if i take b power n plus 1 as lcm this is a power n plus 1 minus this is b power n plus 1 clear by if i take here b as lcm this will be a minus b and see so if i solve this what happens If I solve this, see what happens here. So, this will be, this value will be b power n times of, this is a power n plus 1 minus b power, this is n plus 1 by b power n plus 1 can be written as b power 1 into 1. So, b power n into b power 1 and here if I reciprocally b will be the numerator and this is a minus b. Clear? So, after this one, I made this step. See here, this is the b power n into b power 1 and if I reciprocally b will be in the numerator and a minus b in the denominator. Now, clearly I can cancel these two and now I can cancel these two. And here the answer will be a power n plus 1 minus b power n plus 1 by a minus b. And this is going to be the final answer and therefore inverse z transform of z squared by this is z minus a into z minus b value is nothing but a power n plus 1 minus b power n plus 1 by a minus b is the final answer. This is how we have to solve. Thank you so much for watching and this is most important and I am going to upload one more question and that is also very important. Have a look at it and thank you so much for staying till the end.